Welcome to Full Circle, your source of health, business, and entertainment. And once again, I'm not going to say this time I'm focusing on entertainment, but I'm definitely focusing on business. And I have a very, very special young man here tonight. <laughs> very, I say all my guests are special, which they are. Anytime they take out time to come visit Queen right here on Full Circle, they are definitely special. But I want to introduce a special guest, Dr. Dennis Woods, president and CEO of True Life, Life to Legacy to Publishers <laughs> LLC. Why do I want to change the name of your company? <laughs> I mean, I really want to change the name of it, right? Well, I understand. No, no, no. It's going to say, Queen, get it right. <laughs> How are you this evening? I'm wonderful, and it's good to be here with you, Queen. All so, right, all right. You look, you look looking mighty sharp well, there. Well, you know, look, look whose show I'm on. Uh -oh, you know, I, got, uh -oh. I have to compliment the host, right? Oh, well, hey, I'm hanging with the president <laughs> and the CEO, and I'm look here, I, I learned a lot off of my show. Okay. Having people like you on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So let's talk a little bit about your um, company now. It's a publishing yes. company. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yeah. it. Yeah, Life to Legacy. We started uh, Life to Legacy um, a few years ago, um, uh, and I actually am an author. And mm -hmm. uh, my, my first book was published in 1994, and I've been writing. I had three published books. A friend of mine um, asked me to help a very prominent businessman here in Chicago, uh, Spencer Leak Sr., to help do his book. And so uh, I helped him with his book and all of that and kind of learned the business uh, from the, other than the author's point of view, but from the business side. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Lord gave me a revelation. He actually spoke to me on December 25th, 2009, mm -hmm. uh, to start a publishing company. And so, um, and then he gave me the name, Life to, Life to Legacy. And so we why, took... Why Life to Legacy? Well, because I, I believe that everybody's life, when you write it down, it becomes okay. a legacy. All right. And so everybody has a story, and, and that's, mm -hmm. that's the whole purpose of starting the company because there is there everyone one has a story but not everyone has access to quality and I emphasize the word quality publishing mm -hmm. and to get out there and uh, to be published and mm -hmm. so that's why we started Life to Legacy for those authors who may not be considered by the uh, Bantam books or the uh, um, you know the big publishers um, time life or whoever it might mm -hmm. be uh, who would may not be considered by them but to open up quality publishing uh, to just the a average person as a matter of fact uh, who has a story but and then I found out that no one is average everyone has a great story mm -hmm. and so that's why we called it life to legacy okay okay mm -hmm. all right so now let me ask you um, was it uh, hard to actually get started I mean Doing stuff here in Chicago, it seemed like the entertainment, anything is always hard to get started and make it big. Mm -hmm. So was it was it a hard thing to actually get started as far as a publishing company? Because I've, I've had several authors on Full Circle, and it's mm -hmm. just like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm trying to sell my book. How, how does that work? I mean, well, there's a lot of aspects to publishing. Uh, number one, you have the creative aspect where mm -hmm. the author is actually doing the manuscript, and then you have the developmental aspect where you're, where you're uh, uh, crafting the manuscript, getting it edited and laid out and all that stuff. It's a, lot of, it's a big process. There's a lot of steps in the process to do uh, quality work, and because of that, uh, it can be overwhelming. And so, uh, you know, and a lot. You choose of, to take that job. Well, <laughs> well, the thing is, I, I actually have help, uh, and okay. uh, so it, we're not a one-man uh, thing. We have editors and graphic mm -hmm. designers and uh, professional people that are are able to, uh, to put together a good product and uh, get it actually published. And that's another thing that people uh, have gone to the internet and find find some of these companies that said, "If you pay us, we'll we'll publish your book." 
And but see what they're doing is they're publishing what the authors gives to them, uh, glitches and all. And see, they don't care. They'll just give you back what you give them. They're not going to edit it. They'll just do a shoddy layout. And it kind of gives uh, self-publishing a bad name. And so the thing is, is so that's where our company stands out. And that's why we invite authors, you know, to give us a call. Because not only are we going to produce your book, we're actually going to publish it. And it's a big difference between producing and publishing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so publishing it, that's meaning you're going to get it out there and get it sold. And exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, is um, uh, you can go to a company and a company can print up a hundred books for you, and then they give you a hundred books, and you say, "Oh, I'm published." No, you're not published. You, you, you had somebody make you some books, and not there in the box. Right. Published is having it on Barnes and Noble, or Amazon, or iTunes, mm -hmm. and all the the. Um, the retail venues to where the public have access to it and can buy it and you make royalties from it and all of that. Okay, so that's all publishing. So your first author was did you say my actually my actually my first author, even though she went on to be uh, with the Lord, uh, it was Albertina Walker was actually my first client. Okay. And the Lord opened a door for us to, to, to meet with her and we had my wife and I we went to her house and sat down and everything and she wanted to do the book but she was filming her documentary at the time and what happened is she got sick and then made her transition. Okay. And so uh, our second uh, book there was a gentleman by the name of Mr. Butler out of Indiana who wrote a very good play called The Making of a Prophet and what he did is he put it uh, he took the whole play and he made it, uh, wanted it in a book form, but we left it in script form. So when a person actually reads the book, they're actually reading the script and actually reading the parts. Very good play. And then uh, uh, Ira, Pastor Ira Ackrey on the west side. As a matter of fact, uh, him and another one of my authors were just on television yesterday because they're, they're activists in the community. And so uh, Ira Ackrey and then uh, uh, Pastor Marshall Hatch and Spencer Leak and all of these people. It just seems like once we got started mm -hmm. that God really opened the door and then we started really getting prominent mm -hmm. uh, uh, authors. So let me ask you, how do you actually, uh, someone bring a uh, I guess they send you this the book, or the manuscript. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, tell mm -hmm. me something because I don't mm -hmm. know how this works. So I'm asked. <laughs> However, uh, how do you determine uh, this book is going to sell? I mean, um, I, I know your wife plays a big part as well, mm -hmm. but I mean, you don't. You're not the only one that makes the decisions. Is mm -hmm. what I'm asking. Right. Well, my wife, she's the CFO. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> she handles all the money. I, I make it, then I hand it to her. Right? Okay. And so uh, and she takes care of it. But the, the thing is, is um, uh, often uh, when people bring uh, books to us, uh, every author has in their mind that their book's going to be a, a, a million seller. And, mm -hmm. I, and, I, and, I, and mm -hmm. I encourage that. Okay. Okay. Because why, right. why are you doing it if you don't believe in yourself? Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't believe in yourself, then why bring it to someone else to do something with it? So mm -hmm. everyone has that. And, it's, and, I, and I think there are aspects of that that are very healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, a successful book just doesn't just happen. Just like successful companies don't just happen. I mean, there's planning. Uh, there's a lot of things that you have to think out. And so, uh, and then also you have to have a product that the public wants. Uh, you, if you're talking about a relevant topic. Mm -hmm. uh, that, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. How do mm -hmm. you know that, I mean, it's, it's just, you see so many books, you, and I've read so many different books, mm -hmm. and like you said, it's a lot, everybody has a story. Right. So it's just like, how do you know this is going to be this book is going to sell it's just it's just i mean your job is amazing to me because i i would just have a hard time of so many people coming to me with different books and mm -hmm. i'm trying to figure mm -hmm. out is this going to sell or well a lot of, turn down people i guess well, is what i want to well, know. well because <laughs> because that we because we are a fee-based publisher mm -hmm. uh of course i help with the marketing and i help with all of that uh, the bottom line is, is we provide our clients a, with a, a quality product. And so right. it's not necessarily so much that I will only do you if I could see a million dollars in it or something like that. Uh, uh, I will only publish uh, if I see a million dollars in it. It's really not about that. It's about, 
it's just, it's like when a person goes, uh, a lady goes to a, a beautician, uh, that beautician has expertise to make her hair look like she wants it mm -hmm. and, and make her beautiful. And so it's it's not about whether the beautician likes the style they request or anything like that. It's her job to make give the client what they want and to make it beautiful. Mm -hmm. And so, and I think a lot of that is uh, the part of the services that we offer because in our publishing company, we, we take input from the author, uh, which doesn't happen in a lot of publishing companies. As a matter of fact, with a lot of publishing companies, you don't decide the cover. You don't necessarily even decide the title of the book. Uh, they can come back and say, well, we don't, we don't like the title. We'll change the title and put a whole other marketing spin on it. It's kind of like uh, sending us a movie script to Hollywood. You know, you write it one way, and then when they get finished yeah. with it, it's, it's, it's somebody it's else, else, you know. Exactly. And did something and okay. took your stuff and did something else mm -hmm. with it. And often uh, in publishing, you can run into the same thing. So in our business, uh, what we do is we actually take what and listen to what the author wants, and then our job is to give them a product that meets their expectations, but also meets market standards. You know, okay. so far as editing and graphic design and all of that, and then give them access to these retailers such as Amazon and BarnesandNoble.com, mm -hmm. and where they don't have to buy a, a, a thousand books first and then try to send them somewhere. See, our system is set up on royalties and getting it out there for mm -hmm. them, and then they participate in the sales and all of that. And then we also do the ebook, so all my authors are on iTunes and all of that as well. So okay. we do the whole gamut when it comes oh, to publishing. Okay. So you have the, the big thing going on, the publishing. I mean, it's, like you said, I, I've people that say I've wrote a book and it's been published, mm -hmm. and I'm just trying to figure out well, how you sell it, who's, mm -hmm. how, how do you get all of this right. going, and how are you so for sure? I mean, because everything takes time, and to sit down and write a book. Right, right. <laughs> well, well, most, uh, it, it's, it's like, a lot of business ventures. Uh, you started believing that you're going to do well. Mm -hmm. And the more work you put into it, the more time you put into it, sometimes things really, really catch and take off. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what I encourage my authors to do is to understand, number one, this is your project. This is your work. Mm -hmm. And you should be like this whether I only give it to my family members, whether there's one person down the street that's going to be enriched mm -hmm. by my work, that's the satisfaction that I'm looking for. I want my work out there. I want someone to be able to read it. I want, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. uh, the financial rewards come later. And I think that with most authors and most artists, and most musicians, where they want, they do want to be heard by people, mm -hmm. but it's it's in the craft, it's in the development, it's in the expression and cre uh, of creativity that really, really inspires people that are driven artistically. Mm -hmm. So, so where are you all located at, actually? Well, we're in Matson, Illinois. We're in the far, uh, far mm -hmm. south, so, south suburbs. Uh, we will be changing locations uh, in, in the next few months, but we'll probably remain in the south suburbs. Okay, mm -hmm. and and what is your uh, website? Oh, our website is life the number two legacy dot com. That's life l i f e life two legacy the number two <laughs> legacy dot com. That's our uh, website, and our uh, number is eight seven seven two six seven seven four seven seven. So you could call us, and and I don't, I'm not for sure you would get directly to Dr. Dennis Woods, but you will get to somebody. Yeah, they got know. a number, right? <laughs> Believe it or not, I answer the phone yeah, a lot of times. Of first, yeah. <laughs> and my wife will answer the phone. I answer the phone. Okay, okay. We're gonna go to commercial break, and when we come back, we're going. I want to talk a little bit about some of your authors 